or what it is, yo, or what's up? Chelsea Nicole got a new video coming up. What is up, you guys? It's your girl, Chelsea Nicole, and I am back at you live at whatever device you watch YouTube on. And in today's video, I'm going to be stretching my hair without using heat. I do want to stretch my hair because I do want to put my hair in a low manipulation protective style for a little while and I need to trim my ends yes we are revisiting that but that's not what this video is about I ordered these at the beginning of the year but due to COVID I'm just not getting them but they did throw in like a little scalp brush with the order I know y'all like, what is she talking about? No, you're not because it's in the title. But I'm talking about these alpha threaders. Y'all probably saw these on Instagram because that's where I saw them at. So basically, it's similar to the African threading. I do have bread as well because I, when I was waiting for them, I had just went ahead and got thread because I was going to try it out the regular way. So let me know down in the description box if you'd like to see me do it with actual thread. So my hair is freshly washed and all that. Well, not freshly. I washed it yesterday, but I had something to do. So I just sprayed a little light leave-in in it and put it up in a puff. But now we're going to style it. So I just went through and combed my hair out a little bit. I have six afro thetters, so I'm going to do six sections. <laughs> we're going to see how this goes, you guys. So I'm going to section my head in half. And then get a third of the section in the back. Hope that I still get like a decent stretch seeing as I'm using so much hair. Alright. I'm going to comb the section out just a little bit more. And so this is how it looks. These are like the new and improved. It has little like bow collapses on it. The old ones had elastic. So you take the bow and secure it at your root. I'm doing it as tightly as I can without, you know, being too tight. As you can see, it is quite long, so it is long hair friendly. Then I'm just going to wrap it around my hair like this. Gotta find a little and then connect the piece, making sure that all of my hair is wrapped up inside of it to give it a nice little stretch. I'm gonna go like my air hair ends right here but I'ma go a little farther just so I can make sure it got it that wasn't hard at all and my hair is secured within the Effort brighter. So, go 
Mexico again. Gonna take the effort threader and secure it around my head. Now, I'm going to take my hair and wrap it inside the effort threader and wrap the bro around and secure it. Now there we have it. I do want to do the like actual thread because I feel like I can get it closer because like this gets the hair in there but like between the sections there's a space right there. I don't know if that's going to affect how it stretches my hair but this is how we're looking. Go to sleep. And I'll be back in the morning for the takedown. Um, I slept in these overnight. I wouldn't recommend putting your bonnet on because when I put my bonnet on, it bunched up in the back and it was hard to sleep on it. But when I just had it laying down, I could easily sleep on it. So yeah. Now let's take these bad boys down. See what kind of a stretch I got. So to take it down, you just take the bow off the clasp. And that's what it's looking like. And then you just undo the red that holds it on to the to your hair. And that's what we're looking like. Um, let me 
can take more of them out. One thing I will say is I wish it had more um, clapsy things because there are areas in here where my hair is out. So I feel like if it had more, I'll be able to cover more hair to get better results. So I am going to try the actual thread just because I can get better coverage of my hair. It's rather stretched. Um, like I said, I feel like if there were more room to um, more claps on here, I would probably get a better stretch because there are like the middle part is rather puffy. But it did do what I asked it to do. Stretch my hair a little bit. I just need it to be stretched enough to trim my hair. So yeah, here's what my hair is looking like. It is stretched. Like I said, there was like some pieces of my hair that was left uncovered. I feel like I would have got a better stretch if they were not. But, but I also feel like when you're stretching your hair without heat, um, the methods are not going to be as cohesive as if you were to stretch it without heat. So, it did the job. It stretched my hair. I feel like my hair is stretched enough to look at my ends because look at these. These need to be trimmed. And be on the lookout for that video. I will be having a video on trimming these ends. Thank you for watching this video. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button and the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out.